Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Morning Minutes while on my walk in the morning. Bit of a late start today. James, how are you? Very good, very good. Experiencing the, the working from home today, sort of. Feels like it anyway. Not in like the studio. It. It's a strange world the last couple of weeks. But, guys, we wanted to reach out today. We wanted to talk about inspecting properties on a Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, even a Sunday with us, uh, why you would be doing it. I think it's uh, it's very important that it's absolutely only critical that uh, you're doing these these sort of things. So we don't want to be window shopping. We want to be definitely looking to rent a property, definitely looking to buy a property, but we are open for business, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Nothing Nothing's changed for us. I've just been explaining to people that I've been having conversations with prospective purchasers um, in particular, that it's just the logistics where we're having to be a little bit more, a little bit more streamlined with. Um, we're used to the procedures from last time around, and it's just organising people in, you know, proper fashion, so that we're not having overlaps of people. We're not having people waiting in common areas of buildings, for example. Um, and also, you know, we don't want to be seen with large groups of people outside properties on streets because yeah, it's not a good look at the moment. So, trying to be as careful with that as possible. And something that I want everyone to know is, and this is really hard to explain to people, they sort of don't get it. If it's a family, if it's a husband and wife inspecting a property, believe it or not, we can't have the husband and the wife through at the same time. It's wife, it's husband or wife through first with the agent, then it's the um, uh, the partner second with the agent. We cannot take them both through. Even though they're from the same household, we can't take them through at the same time. That's the law. So people are really surprised about that. But what people are also surprised about is that we can show, we can still continue to show people. Uh, and I guess it's really important. Some people have actually sold a property um, and they have to move out of house in two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, and uh, they need to buy something for it. So, you know, I, I guess it is very important accommodation, a roof over your head. We are, uh, you know, it is essential for us to get this business done. And same goes with rentals. Yeah. And this is it. And I think, um, I think it, the onus is on the buyer or the prospective purchasers, um, prospective tenants to decide whether it is essential for them to, to make the move because they might be looking from somewhere outside of, you know, the nearby area to that property that they're looking at. Um, I don't think that it's the agent's responsibility to tell them that, you know, they are able to make that trouble for that reason. I think they need to make the calls, um, but we'll obviously do what we can to make sure that everything is within all the protocols. And something that's been quite interesting, one thing I wanted to note is a lot of our booking software systems, they've included little questionnaires into them now as well that says, have you been overseas in the last 14 days? Have you done all of these little steps? Do you agree to wearing um, face mask and PPE? Um, and do you agree not touch, to not touch the little things? So just little questionnaires and checklists being incorporated into these as well, um, just so that we on our booking side know that the people we're uh, booking in aren't going to be with a bit of like contact traces for the uh, for the COVID. So um, just a little stuff. Um, tenants are allowed to say no um to these inspections as well owners are allowed to say no to these inspections um it, we've actually been pretty okay with tenants accepting um chris has chris has made a made a point um uh that's way that's that's why you are in lockdown what a joke uh if you are serious lockdown completely like agents in melbourne what a joke yes yeah, so i think um what chris was saying there was in in it was very different um to Melbourne lockdown, like when we first – our lockdowns have included us showing properties, uh, yeah. last one, and it didn't seem to be a problem. Uh, Melbourne has lockdown real estate where, you know, even if you actually need to need a home to live, uh, to buy or rent, uh, and it is urgent, bad luck. Uh, just stay where you are. So uh, it's interesting. So, look, I don't, I don't know which – I don't know which, which – um, I honestly don't know which way is better. It, it obviously didn't seem to be a problem in, in our first two lockdowns to be able to continue to show property. Um, so yeah. they, the third time they've done it, they've, they've allowed it open. Maybe Melbourne had it wrong, um, <laughs> allowing um, uh, not allowing properties to be shown. I know that our the Real Estate Institute of Australia has really fought to have um, 
office under essential services to show properties because sometimes people have actually got a gun to their head to move out where they've exchanged on something and they have to they have to move out or they've uh, they're they're on the way out of their rental property and someone's actually coming and they've got to go. So uh, it's interesting, but I think you can be respectful, James. You can actually walk in, not touch a cupboard, not touch a door. Have you have have um have your face mask on, uh, sanitize before you go in. Get get in and out fast. You can be pretty respectful of it. So yeah, yeah. And then obviously we do have from last time around virtual inspections across the, across the board as well. So there are the options of the virtual inspections for the properties. Um, you know that might be tenanted or that might be owner occupied that that they're not wanting people through. So we explored a lot of different avenues and you know they all they're all working and let's just hope that. What we do now is a real estate, you know, community that we don't become part of the reason why it, why it transmits further. And yeah, I'm sure everyone's abiding by the rules. Cool. So, guys and girls, that's what we're that's what's happening in real estate in lockdown in uh, Sydney at the moment. And um, any questions, let us know. We covered everything, James. Yeah, pretty pretty basic. People, my people know what to do nowadays mostly, but hopefully that just recaps couple of things for people so no i think that was I think that was it cool right, this, is the first, well, this, this is the first uh morning minutes i've actually done in the graveyard do you reckon it'll be the last though i think it'll be the last <laughs> last we'll probably end up here but yeah, uh no. something, yeah uh, oh you got, you got lost on the morning walk did you <laughs> all right all take right. care yeah. hopefully you guys Bye. Bye.